Ever wondered why Wall Street is the synonym for wealth, power, and financial acumen? Well, let's peel back the layers of this enigma. Wall Street, despite its name, is not just a street. It's a symbol, a concept, a representation of the financial might and prowess that has come to define the modern world. Nestled within the heart of Lower Manhattan in New York City, Wall Street has been the epicenter of global finance for centuries, its roots tracing back to the late 18th century. Imagine, if you will, a bustling marketplace in the year 1792, where 24 stockbrokers huddled under a buttonwood tree, signing an agreement that would set the stage for the creation of the New York Stock Exchange. This buttonwood agreement, as it came to be known, mark the birth of Wall Street as a financial hub. Fast forward to today, Wall Street is not just a physical location anymore, it's an embodiment of the global financial system. It's where the world's most significant financial institutions, including investment banks, hedge funds and brokerage firms, make their home. But it's not just about the money. Wall Street is also a powerhouse of financial innovation bringing forth new financial products and strategies that shape our global economy. And the influence of Wall Street extends far beyond the confines of Lower Manhattan. It reaches into the corners of the world, impacting national economies, corporate strategies, and even individual lives. The rise and fall of stock prices on Wall Street can change fortunes overnight, create or destroy jobs, and even influence the economic policies of nations. Now, Let's not forget that Wall Street has also been the epicenter of various financial crises, the most notable one being the financial meltdown of 2008. Yet, despite these upheavals, Wall Street has remained resilient, continuing to play a pivotal role in the world economy. Wall Street, a small street in Lower Manhattan, has indeed become the financial heartbeat of the world. From its historical origins to its present-day significance, the enigma of Wall Street continues to captivate the world. So let's delve deeper into this intriguing world in our next scene. Wall Street is not just a physical location, it's an ecosystem bustling with financial activity. Let's take a moment to appreciate the complexity and vibrancy of this financial district. At the heart of Wall Street, we have the stock exchanges, most notably the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ. These powerhouses are the meeting places for buyers and sellers, where millions of shares switch hands every single day. They set the pulse for the global economy, their ups and downs scrutinized by investors worldwide. But it's not just about the exchanges. A closer look reveals a network of banks, both commercial and investment. These banks are the arteries of Wall Street, channeling the lifeblood of finance. Commercial banks take deposits and extend loans, while investment banks deal with securities, aiding companies in raising capital. They're the bridge between corporations and investors, and their importance cannot be understated. Now let's turn our attention to brokerage houses. These are the intermediaries, the facilitators. They buy and sell securities on behalf of investors, earning a commission for their services. They are the gatekeepers, providing access to the stock market for individual investors and institutions alike. Last but not least, we have the investment companies. These firms pull together funds from numerous investors to buy securities. Whether it's mutual funds, hedge funds, or private equity firms, they offer a way for smaller investors to partake in investments they might not have been able to afford on their own. Each of these institutions, while distinct, are interdependent. They rely on each other to function, much like the organisms in a biological ecosystem. The stock exchanges need the banks and brokers to bring in trades. The banks need the investment companies as clients. The investment companies need the brokerage houses to execute their strategies. It's a symbiotic relationship a delicate balance that keeps the Wall Street machine running smoothly. This intricate web of financial institutions forms the lifeblood of Wall Street, pumping finance across the globe. And that, my friends, is the Wall Street ecosystem in a nutshell. Why does a minor fluctuation on Wall Street send ripples across the world economy? Now that's a question that has piqued the interest of many a financial enthusiast. The answer lies in the sheer influence and power that Wall Street wields on the global financial landscape. Wall Street, often perceived as the beating heart of global finance, has a profound impact on economies far and wide. Its influence is such that a twitch in Wall Street can lead to a tremor in Tokyo, 
or a jolt in Johannesburg. But how does this happen? Well, it's all interconnected. Let's start with the basics. Wall Street is home to the largest stock exchanges in the world, where billions of dollars change hands every day. This massive trading volume means that any significant change in stock prices can alter the value of investment portfolios worldwide. This, in turn, can influence consumer spending and business investments, shaping the overall economic climate. Moreover, Wall Street's influence extends beyond just stock prices. It plays a pivotal role in shaping economic policies. The Federal Reserve, while independent, often looks to the financial markets for cues on monetary policy. A slump in Wall Street might lead to a cut in interest rates to stimulate investment, affecting global borrowing costs and currency values. Furthermore, Wall Street's giants, the investment banks, hedge funds and private equity firms, have a considerable say in corporate decision-making across the globe. Their investments, mergers and acquisitions can reshape entire industries, creating new jobs or, unfortunately, sometimes leading to layoffs. In essence, Wall Street acts as a barometer for the global economy. Its ups and downs, booms and busts are closely watched by economists, policymakers and investors around the world. It's like a game of dominoes, where one small move can set off a chain reaction. So the next time you hear of a slump or surge on Wall Street, remember it's not just about New York. It's about London, Sydney, Mumbai and every other corner of the globe. The Wall Street effect is indeed a testament to its global financial dominance. Wall Street is often perceived as a playground for the rich, but is it really? Let's dive into some common myths and realities about this financial hub that's often shrouded in mystery. One pervasive myth is that Wall Street is exclusively for the wealthy, a realm where only those with deep pockets can play. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, Wall Street is not a private club for the affluent. The advent of technology and the rise of online trading platforms have democratized access to financial markets. Today, anyone with an internet connection and a small amount of capital can participate in the financial markets right from the comfort of their own home. This has given rise to a new generation of retail investors, debunking the myth of exclusivity. Another myth that often circulates is that Wall Street is a rigged game where the big players always win and the small investors always lose. While it's undeniable that large institutional investors have access to more information and sophisticated tools, small investors are not necessarily at a disadvantage. With the right knowledge, strategy and risk management, even the smallest investor can thrive on Wall Street. And then there's the myth that Wall Street is all about quick riches. Many assume it's a place where you can turn a few hundreds into millions overnight. The reality, however, is much more sobering. Successful investing requires patience, discipline, and a thorough understanding of the markets. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a long-term wealth-building strategy. So let's dispel these myths and embrace the realities. Wall Street is not a playground for the rich, but a marketplace for all. It's not a rigged game, but a field where knowledge and strategy can level the playing field. And it's not a quick ticket to wealth, but a journey of financial growth and learning. Wall Street is more accessible today than it ever was, breaking barriers and inviting participation from all walks of life. So, how can you make Wall Street work for you? A question that has haunted many for ages. Well, let me tell you, it's not as complex as it might seem. You see, Wall Street isn't just for the suited financiers and the bigwigs. It's a platform where you too can participate and potentially reap benefits. There are several ways one can dive into the world of Wall Street. Investing in stocks, for example, is like buying a small piece of a company. When the company's value goes up, so does the value of your stock. But remember, the opposite can also happen. It's a game of risks and rewards. Then there are bonds. These are essentially loans you give to a company or the government. In return, they promise to pay you back with interest after a certain period. It's like lending your friend 20 bucks, but this time you're lending it to Uncle Sam or a corporation. Mutual funds on the other hand, are a bit different. They pull money from a bunch of investors and use that to buy a diverse range of stocks and bonds. It's like going to a potluck dinner where everyone brings a dish and you get to taste a bit of everything. Now here's the catch. It's not just about throwing your money into the market and hoping for the best. It's about making informed decisions. Financial literacy is the key. Understand what you're investing in, keep track of market trends and stay updated with financial news. And most importantly, 
Don't let the fear of losses stop you from investing. Remember, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. Start small, be patient, and let your investments grow over time. Navigating Wall Street might seem daunting, but with knowledge and prudence, it can open doors to financial prosperity. So take a step, educate yourself, and let the power of investing work for you.